Hi everyone again in YouTube land. It is time for the holiday season, which means that I am doing a doll a day haul video. Hence the pun dolls haul doll a days. Anyway, <laughs> um, I just finished doing a review of the My Life as a cooking playset. And so since I have my My Life doll, um, a couple of Pleasant Company American Girl dolls, and I have my Cameron and Coco doll, who I got recently, who is wearing this pretty little breakfast set pajama set. Um, I decided to include her set with the My Life set, so or just combine it. So uh, this, oh, whoops. <laughs> I didn't realize how close I was. Um, this Play-Doh made a really realistic waffle using the My Life Waffle Maker. So I combined the fried eggs, the bacon, her chocolate um, milk drink, along with the maple syrup and the faux pancakes that uh, the Play-Doh makes as well with this whole breakfast set. So I believe that if you do have the Cameron and Coco doll set um, and you have the My Life set and the My Life doll does not come with this set, but if you do have a My Life doll as well as Cameron, um, you guys could uh, do a spread like this and combine the two play food sets together to make one whole complete set. So uh, that was my first big doll a day splurge um, that I did for the upcoming holidays because they're all they're having all kinds of doll sales um, on doll products and 18 inch doll products as well as baby doll products. So um, I always love taking advantage of some of the deals I get for the holiday season and pairing it with um, old dolls like these two white body dolls um, that are Pleasant Company. So if you're into the higher end dolls, um, you can still combine these play sets with the higher end dolls to go with their story themes uh, because American Girl is very good about combining literacy um, and doll play with these types of dolls. But if you also um, have a very tight budget, um, the My Life dolls are offered through Walmart. And I don't know, someone told me that Madame Alexander um, dabbled with My Life dolls as well. I don't know if that company still does or not, but that was like a rumor years ago that um, these My Life dolls were in collaboration with Madame Alexander, the company. So I'm not sure about that. Um, and then if you're right in the middle where you want a higher end doll, but you don't want to pay a whole lot of money for a higher end doll, there's always the Target brand, um, our generation dolls. Uh, and so Cameron and Coco uh, are our generation dolls. Um, is an R Generation doll set. And so um, let's see, what else did I splurge on for the doll days? So um, I don't know if I would call this a splurge, but I did go to Dollar Tree and I did find a couple of things for my doll setups as well as um, my youngest because I'm always on the hunt for things that will make uh, the holidays better for the young ones. <laughs> in the family. Um, so this is just a cute little Frosty the Snowman snow theme ribbon and it's not a whole lot. It's 12 feet of ribbon but I thought this would look great on uh, Cameron or an, a doll that just needs some hair bows or needs some hair decor. So I always like putting bows in my doll's hair. I might even use this for Dolly um, who is my um, my life doll. So when she's ready to wear this outfit, um, I'll probably end up putting her in these hair bows. So we'll see how that looks on her. Um, another thing I ended up getting for the holiday season were some cards. You t you're too far away to pass the turkey. So I thought that was kind of cute. 
Um, so we might be giving these cards to loved ones or I might be just keeping them. I'm not really sure. Um, hi, it's just me sitting here feeling thankful for you. So that's cute. Um, so I got that. And this is another Hallmark card offered through Dollar Tree. Happy Thanksgiving. And this is like really cute for um, a baby doll or a baby's first Thanksgiving. If you're fortunate enough to have a little one who is a baby in your family. And um, this is a, just a generic card that I got last year that I loved a lot. And I wanted just a generic card. So this says Happy Thanksgiving. And then I found some cute holiday stickers of um, Black Santa Claus so or Saint Nick. So I really thought that was cute. I want to put start doing um, cute things with my uh, son's uh, work that he brings home from school or things that he does at home um, and start rewarding him with stickers because he loves coming home and showing me um, all his great job stickers that he gets with his work. So um, that was just a few things I got from Dollar Tree. Uh, next, uh, this is from Target, and I saw this in the dollar spot, and I'm trying to see how much, they were $5. Um, so you, uh, these are glass ornaments, I believe, so you get a snow, oh no, you get St. Nick, um, a candy cane with a ribbon, a snowflake, uh, I'm not sure what this thing is, mistletoe, no, a Christmas tree. Um, a gingerbread man, a stocking, I'm not quite sure what that is. Oh, oh, it's candy. It's a peppermint candy, a mitten, and a gnome dressed up in a Santa Claus hat. And I thought that would be cute for Samantha. So, um, when Samantha is decorating the tree with Nellie, uh, her best friend and sister Nellie, um, she can use some of these ornaments because I do have a miniature uh, white Christmas tree and hopefully I'll be able to find the ornaments this year but if not um, I got these ornaments and they actually come with string so you don't have to buy your string individually okay and uh, the next thing I ended up getting was from the TJX stores so this was from TJ Maxx they were putting out all of their baby uh, holiday stuff. So this is a good time of year to buy some um, headbands if you're expecting a baby or if you have a little one in your family or um, if you have a huge baby doll collection from Ashton Drake or Ollie's like I do. So I could see this going on an inexpensive doll like um, my Ollie dolls, Lola and Novaline. Or I can see this going on my higher end dolls like my Ash and Drake dolls. But um, my youngest has obviously outgrown the baby years. Um, and plus he's a boy. <laughs> Our youngest member of the family is a boy. So I wouldn't put this on him. Um, but definitely I would definitely put this on um, my Ash and Drake dolls. Um, this is another set of hair bows. I could see um, my Ash and Drake dolls in this because it's a clip and so um, and it was for $3.99 which I thought was a good deal for our four clips uh, fancy hair clips uh, so they don't look cheap at all or inexpensive uh, so I think this could dress up any outfit and so I say Ashton Drake dolls not because I don't think these would look good on my Ollie dolls but my Ollie dolls do not have um, any synthetic hair that you could clip these bows to uh, therefore, they would be better off in something that has like a wrap or um, a headband versus a clip. So these clips could even go into um, my 18-inch doll's hair as well. But they are they would look very big. So it really would depend on what dolls you would like to put these bows in. Um, since Samantha's era, those girls used to have like really big over-the-top bows. Uh, in the early 1900s so I could even say that Nellie or Samantha could probably get away with something like this 
Okay, and the last thing I got from my TJ Maxx store, um, my local one, is this one right here. This is a pacifier clip, and I used to use uh, these kind of clips for my youngest all the time um, because that was around the time that they actually made these uh, prior to uh, me having the youngest member of my family. Um, they did not offer pacifier clips, so I really love the fact that this is a football theme one. Um, so I can see this going on to cute Jackson. It even has like the, the yard lines. <laughs> so if you wanted to give this as a gift to someone who's having a little boy, um, this would make a perfect holiday gift because it does have green in it, but then it also has that classic uh, brown football color. Um, so you could use this for any time of year or if you went to a university or a college where these are some of your college uh, colors and for my husband and I who we went to the same college and university so uh, these just happen to be our college university colors so we really lucked out but unfortunately my son is too old for me to use this so I will be using something like this on 2Q Jackson or uh, my Michelle Talbot doll. Okay, and my last big uh, haul of the day is the Christmas cookie set for Melissa and Doug. So I'll be doing a review on this because you guys know I already ended up getting a play set for my youngest uh, because he's at that age where he's too young to help me with real cookies in the kitchen. Uh, but he is right around that age where he still loves playing with play food as he should. Um, so we have this set just for that. I saw it last year and I kicked myself for not getting it last year. So I'm so glad they still offered it this year. And you can see my little Christmas gnomes are up as well. And this is just the last thing I wanted to show you guys. Um, this was for not for the dolls but this was just for me <laughs> um, I ended up stumbling across a whole bunch of Black Santa themed um, sets at Target so I ended up picking up these for the kitchen and since I was talking about uh, Christmas cookies I'm also going to use my favorite Christmas cookie uh, magazine from 2008 if you can believe it or not um, to kind of do my review for the Melissa and Doug Christmas cookies. And of course, this is the more recent one um, from years back, but uh, definitely still a great thing. And I think I ended up getting this thing, um, Season's Greeting, with uh, this cute little Santa right here with uh, Frosty the Snowman who I think, I don't know if you guys know this, but at the beginning of the song, Frosty the Snowman, he says happy birthday. So for people who might not like Frosty the Snowman, um, the fact that Frosty the Snowman acknowledges the fact that it was Jesus's birthday on Christmas day and he's saying happy birthday is like, that just won me over. So now I'm a big Frosty the Snowman fan. <laughs> so um, my... Um, my priest basically reminded me that uh, Frosty the Snowman did that at the beginning of every Frosty the Snowman song. So I thought that was just kind of interesting. But there is my um, Dollar Tree um, Black Santa find. So if you guys have a Dollar Tree, definitely check out that Black Santa. Um, and these are just some little things uh, for Frosty the Snowman that I got from William Sonoma. And they just have like different um, scenes on each one. And um, we found this a couple of years ago. So we have yet to use it. But we just thought that um, we would want to bring them out this year. So that's the end of my haul, guys. And um, if you like my video, go ahead and like and subscribe. And I don't get sponsored for anything that I pick up or buy. Um, I'm a doll collector who just loves collecting doll things um, as well as Black Santas. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.